Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to configure some of your keyboard shortcuts for uh, deleting emails or email threads in Gmail. Uh, this is not a perfect solution for uh, being able to use the delete key in Gmail, but it might help you uh, get along a little better than you were before. All right, so if we're in your main email list here, if you wanted to delete an email, you know, click on, if you press the delete key, nothing happens, and you have to use the trash can up here to delete it. So the first workaround for that is if you enable the keyboard shortcuts in Gmail, I'm not sure why they're not enabled by default, but to do that, you click on the settings gear here, see all settings, and then scroll down to keyboard shortcuts, turn it on, Save changes, and let's go back to that folder here. Okay, let's say now, if we click on the delete key, still doesn't work, but if we do the shortcut, which is Shift-3, which is the same as pound, but you still have to do sh Shift-3, that deletes it. And another thing you do, which you would think might work, is to uh, edit the keyboard shortcuts to change the delete action to use the delete key, but if you were to do that, and I'll show you to do that, you go back to the settings. This time you have to go to advanced and then custom keyboard shortcuts. You have to enable it. Save changes. Then you have to go back into settings again. See all settings. And now you'll have a keyboard shortcuts section here. And now here's delete. And then you can see it's pound, which is technically shift three, which is what we were just using. But if you were to change that, to, you know, you can't just press the delete key and have it type something in there for it just delete it or you can't just type in delete and expect it to work so you're stuck with the default I haven't found a way to work around that yet for that but there's another little workaround by using an extension and this is called delete key for Gmail it's a Chrome extension so I've already installed it there so once you install it let's go back to the inbox here or updates. Okay, it'll have a little guy here, and if you don't see that, you could click on the little extensions thing here, and and you'll get to it from there, and you could also pin it with the little thumbtack there. So go there, and then we'll go to options. Okay, so right now I have it, so you could do, um, you know, shift plus delete key, or control plus delete key, and that kind of thing. But if you do no modifier key, then you just have the delete key by itself. So that means you don't have to press shift or alt or control delete. It's just a delete key. Okay, so now the only catch with that, so if we go back to our email here, and if I want to delete an email, it doesn't work when you're in the list. So I'm pressing delete and nothing's happening. But if you're in an email and you press delete, just a delete key, it works and it takes you back out to there. And also if you're in a thread, so let's say we have this thread here and we're in the middle one here. Normally you could go to the little dots here and, and uh, where is it? Delete this message to delete that's just this one part of the thread. But if, if you're in the thread here and you press the delete key, then it'll delete that one. So it works from within an email. And also let's say we're in a email here and we press the delete key. It'll delete us and delete it and take us back out there. So it works from within emails, but not from the listing, which is unfortunate because it would be nice to have a delete key work while you're in your main listing of emails there. But I guess, you know, no big deal to just highlight the ones you want and click on the trash can instead of delete key. So once again, it's the uh, delete key for Gmail email extension or email extension and Chrome extension. I'll put a link to that in the description. You could install that and configure it yourself and see how you like it. And then also, if you want to just go into your settings and um, you could enable shortcuts from the general tab, or you could go to advanced and then enable customize keyboard shortcuts, enable that, and that'll actually enable the shortcuts at the same time, I believe. So it's only you know one step thing there. Just make sure you click on save changes before you go out, otherwise it's not going to take effect. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.